everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back with one more video. So, holy moly, laser ship has arrived. Yay. I got my haul of coconut mint drop. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to review this one tomorrow because I want to wear it all evening and enjoy it and give you a good review. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I lit up the butter rum eggnog candle. I've been enjoying it for a couple hours. Best candle Bath and Body Works ever made. <laughs> but first, oh my gosh, you guys, check it out. Christmas cards are rolling in. So if you're just joining me, I'm doing a fun little project this Christmas. We're all stuck at home. If you would like to send a Christmas card, I will put my PO box below. And then I've been buying, oh my gosh, you guys, I got a whole load of stuff from Zazzle. I got stickers. I got Christmas cards. Coco is involved. <laughs> so everyone that sent me a card, I'm just going to use the return address. You're going to get a card back from me. I ordered 200 cards, but um, I think I've gotten like 60 so far. So we're still good. Um, so if you would like to send a card... I will be processing all, I gotta put all the addresses into like a spreadsheet. I'm very organized. <laughs> I gotta put stickers on, I gotta sign everything. Um, I will be sending out the Christmas cards probably like the first week of December, probably after Candle Day, you guys. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a big video where I open the Christmas cards and show everybody. Um, I don't know if I can do them all on camera, I might split it into two different videos, but. We're going to have a little Christmas card party. <laughs> I almost said candle. A <laughs> Christmas card party. So like I said, all the information is below. But oh my gosh, you guys. So um, this is going to be a twofer video. I'm going to show you the little haul I got here. This is kind of the Black Friday haul, but I ordered it Wednesday. I didn't get Black Friday prices, but I got the Black Friday products. And then I'm going to review for you Butter Rum Eggnog. I gotta order more of these, you guys. It's funny. The other candle, I remember I was addicted to the um, the mint chocolate candle like way before I even started blogging, like 10 years ago. And I remember the one year I actually ordered six mint chocolate. I think that was the most I ever ordered of one candle. I think I'm gonna break that record with butter rub eggnog. Like strawberry pound cake, I don't usually buy a lot of because it's been coming out like in a new packaging, like every, you know, six months. So I have all my strawberry pound cake candles, of course, but I don't usually buy more than one. Butter rum eggnog, that's going to be an exception. So what did I get in here? I did get a vanilla bean Noel shower gel. I got to start stocking up on my Christmas shower gels, you guys. And then I got the entire coconut mint drop collection. I got it in the lotion. I got it in the cream and I got it in the mist. Oh my goodness. And it's funny because you guys all know I don't like coconut at Christmas with the exception of coconut mint chop. It was funny. I remember when this one came out, it was, I want to say, was it 2017? I'm thinking 2017. And they had all those really unique, like retro bottle styles. They weren't as popular as I think Bath & Body Works thought they were going to be. For some reason, the packaging, um, it didn't stick. I don't know. People were complaining about the packaging that year. But Coconut Mint Drop was the, one of the absolute, like, desirable scents. This one is white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. As the Christmas snow falls, bundle up with a tropical and minty delight. It's funny. I don't think this is tropical, though. I really don't. Um, if it was tropical, I don't think I would like it as much. To me, what this one smells like, I get the mint first, and then the coconut is kind of secondary. But I'm going to wear this, um, all the different product uh, types tonight, give you a better review of this one, and then I'm going to try the shower gel, because I really want to um, do a good review of this one. But I, this, is, this is an amazing scent. This one is definitely worth picking up. I cannot wait to try the shower gel. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think I like it best in the shower gel. I really get that mint coming off of there. So I will be reviewing this one tomorrow. I'm so excited. So let me set that aside here. 
I gotta talk about butter rum eggnog, you guys. So butter rum eggnog is part of this online exclusive Kate's Christmas collection. And I said this before, I really wish the Bath and Body Works would allow us to sort our candles um, by type because this is driving me absolutely batty that all of the, um, the scents aren't sorted by type. <laughs> so the Kate's Christmas, we've got the salted caramel. We just got um, the Snow Mountain Lodge. The problem with these in Candle Day is if these are not in stores and these are online exclusives, that means a lot of people are going to be doing online and in store, which, you know, of course is good for retail, but it's kind of a pain for us. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it in store for Candle Day. I did order a couple of these for Black Friday, but I am hoping that they are still available on Candle Day because I want to get like three or four more. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. It's got a Santa Claus on it this year, which I think is adorable. Although I did like the last jar style that they had. I thought this was so adorable. Look at that. Um, I personally think that this is the best candle that Bath & Body Works has ever made. <laughs> it is spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. To me, all of the scents absolutely mingle together in a way that makes you think that you're drinking eggnog. I mean, it's the most pure eggnog scent that I think I've ever experienced. Like I said, Yankee had one a couple years ago that was good, but this one's better. And um, it's got everything. It's got the buttercream. It's got the eggnog. It's got a little bit of that vanilla bourbon that kind of gives it a wonderful, like, alcohol scent. Um, and I don't drink bourbon, believe me. I <laughs> That would probably kill me. But I like that bourbon, like, smell. And then the shaved nutmeg is just a touch of nutmeg that makes it absolutely beautiful. I've been burning this one now for a couple of hours. Got a good wax pull on here. The throw is really good on this one. Um, it's not an overpowering candle by nature, so it's not going to be something that, like, absolutely, like, annihilates your nostrils. <laughs> but it's gentle. It's soft. It's beautiful. It really is. It fills the room with a really wonderful, like warm eggnog scent. Oh my gosh. Absolutely wonderful. Like I really, it's funny because I've been talking about butter rum eggnog for a really long time. Every Christmas I bring this one out and go, I really wish they'd bring this one back. Who knows? I hope they listen to me. <laughs> By the way, we need a strawberry pound cake bubble bath next. Oh, and we need something in banana. That's my other request. But um, it's funny because I will do a couple of recap videos this year. I always do a year-end review. I'll do like my top 20 candles of 2020. And then I think I'm going to do like maybe a top 20 of all time. You know, the candles that I've been reviewing for the past couple years. Obviously, I can't go back too far because um, I burned those candles. <laughs> But, um, I like the lid from last year, though. Super cute. Um, what's the lid for this year? I don't even have the lid. Oh, actually, it's just a, it's just a plain silver lid this year. It's actually, these are actually White Barn, uh, branded, by the way. Um, are these White Barn? Did, did I grab the wrong lid? No, they are White Barn. Um, so the lids aren't, I, I wish we'd gotten a, a little upscale lid going on, but I'm fine with that. Um, I did order a couple more in this collection. I got the Chestnut and Clove. I got the um, the uh, Snow Mountain Lodge, Apple Garland. Oh my gosh, it's funny. I saw someone on Instagram and they were like, they bought like 10 Apple Garden, garlic, garden. <laughs> Apple Garland. That one is amazing too. This entire collection is just wonderful. Um, so put that on your candle day list. Seriously, like do not like miss out on that one. I'm actually making my candle day list. I will have more information next week on Candle Day. we got to get through Cyber Monday first. <laughs> but I will have lots of Candle Day news next week. I'll do tips. I'll do tricks. I'll do my wish list. I think this year, um, I usually do 25 candles on my wish list for Candle Day. I think this year the price is going to be $9.95. I'm seeing that all over the place. Um, 
if we can use a coupon online, that's even better. But I typically budget about like two to two fifty, two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars on Candle Day every year. My mother usually gets a few, um, so it's kind of like an even thing. But I don't know if I'm going in this year. Like I said, it's a little scary out there. But I will definitely be doing an online haul for Candle Day. I'm curious to see if we're going to get a pop up collection this year too. Like you know how we got the. Um, the uh, blueberry, what, oh my gosh, it just left my brain. Um, the blueberry donut one. Um, we got the strawberry pound cake in that kind of disco collection. So Bath and Body Works claims there's going to be some surprises coming for Candle Day. So we shall see. But oh my gosh, definitely add this one to your list. I mean, if there's one candle you should get this year, it's the butter from eggnog. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. I'm looking at the candle. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow and I will be reviewing the coconut mint drop for you guys. Have an awesome Saturday night. Bye bye.